So moving forward, I am ready to add more decoration by wool trade cloth along the side of the sheath like I have here. So I cut this to size and then measured about a centimeter apart and marked that with a pencil so I can follow a fairly straight line. The materials that I'm using, I have leather lace, a dull needle that pinches this lacing together so I can sew through it if I need to. I have a metal awl and then two bone awls. This is pretty thick hide as well as wool material so I might have to use the metal punch. We'll see. So yeah, I'll show you how to start this and uh, get this piece together. So I pulled this lacing through and you can see I have a slit cut in the center of this leather. So I feed the one tag in through that slit and I just pull it. And that self tightens this side. Okay, so now I just go over to the next hole and I'll continue whip stitching down until I reach this end. To finish this off, I just push the tag end through the same hole and I pull it tight. And one thing to keep in mind with this decoration on the side is you want to stay away from that stitching we created earlier. Uh, you don't want to poke through that. So I am, I am far enough away to where this is nice and secure and it is now complete. The next thing that I want to do is sew these flaps together with another leather lace. So I'm not going through the trade cloth we just sewed on, just these two flaps. And I'm going to whip around it and then tuck the tag end through those, those uh, whip stitches that we create and pull it tight so you can see what we're sewing. I start from the bottom. You can see I poked a hole and ran that lacing through and I'll just whip up, keeping loose loops. Instead of tightening everything down like we did on the side with the stitching as well as the lacing, I'm keeping it loose because again, I'll take that tag in and run it through and that helps secure things. I'm also keeping this lacing close together. So as I wrap around, the lacing is pretty much touching. Touching and in some cases on this example, you can see that there's parts where it's actually almost stacked on top. And that really helps secure things. So I'll just continue whipping around until I reach that top. You can see I have these loops sewn up top and they're nice and loose. So I just take this tag in, I feed it through and I tighten them up. This is sewn up nice and tight, nice and secure. The knife fits in well. Okay, so around this top panel, I'm going to sew around and we'll create our belt loop. This thing is just about complete. 